Hi, uh, we're Smadar and Sar, and we are filters from job. Tel Aviv. Good job. Billions of dollars are spent each year just to generate traffic to e-commerce platforms, and yet 98% of the visitors just won't buy anything. But why? Consumer behavior is changing drastically. People rely more and more on the social networks for information and to make decisions. So even if they're interested in a product or a service, they'll drop the website, they'll often open seven different tabs, start looking for reliable information from real people. They're searching for the truth. And that's when we decided to listen to the people and bring the truth to them by creating filter. We give them a unified score they can immediately understand. They can see in a glance what people say about each product in the social networks. And our powerful tool exposes right next to each product in the e-commerce platform the most relevant, engaging, and updated social information together with the most relevant photos and videos. And this is the final outcome the ultimate tool to make your decisions based on the social networks. And when you put the consumer's needs first, you help retailers. Bottom line, 39.5%. That's the sales lift that our clients report after eight months of extensive A-B tests. People spent much more time on site, they were more engaged, and eventually this leads to many more sales. These results brought us early traction from huge players even before we started our US operations. We have discussions with Bed Bath & Beyond, Adorama, and Sephora. We have started a, a pilot with C Discount, one of the leading retailers in the EU with more than two billion euro in yearly revenue. So how do we do it? After a simple one-line code integration, we automatically identify all the products. For each one, we collect information from social networks, review sites, blogs, forum discussions. We throw away 60 to 80%, which are commercial or spam or inappropriate. Then we use advanced natural language processing techniques to derive not only the sentiment regarding the product, but regarding each one of its features. Less than most important, we analyze both the content and the context of each, each social mention to determine which parts of the social conversation can really drive people to take action. And the result is our highly curated feed. Our revenue model is simple yet straightforward. It's a SaaS model and the pricing is determined by the client's traffic. If we acquire only 5% of our addressable market in the US, we'll have $245 million in yearly revenue. Our CEO is a serial entrepreneur with many ventures in our past and a vast experience in marketing. And in technology, we combine expertise in NLP, machine learning, and highly scalable solutions. Lately joined us David Chang, former executive in PayPal and TripAdvisor, together with professionals in both uh, BizDev and finance. And our investors are strategic. Dr. Ilan Cohen is the senior partner in the leading IP firm in Israel and is leading our IP strategy. And lately joined us Will Graylin, which is a serial entrepreneur who sold his last venture to Samsung. And now we want to share with you a bit numbers, part of the numbers behind our two and a half years. Thank you. We're scanning more than 100 social sources and cover already eight different verticals, including health and beauty, consumer electronics and travel. As we've said, 39.5% increased sales for our clients. We have more than 24 clients now in our pipeline. We've won five awards, including Mass Challenge in Boston. And right now, we're in the middle of raising a round of two and a half million, in which we've already secured 1.7 million. We hope to open our US office this January. Thank you very much. Good job, filter and you can judges. With you. Great work. Um, my question is: a lot of e-commerce right now, right, is uh, already moved and continuing to move to, to Amazon, right, uh, for a lot of the consumer goods that uh, that you guys work in. And that, um, and so my question is: how does that affect your model, knowing that um, you're providing a solution for everyone else that isn't Amazon? Is my understanding right? Um, and so, how does this trend affect your model? And, uh, and, and, it's, and also the data, knowing that a lot of that good content is on Amazon, right? So how does this affect your model? 
That reminds me that just a few days ago there was an article that analysts came and said 20% of Amazon reviews are fake, are made up reviews. Amazon state that they agree with that and they are working to change the system. We believe that there is other words, not just Amazon, and there is a place for other players. And we create something so unique that people desperately need it. And for example, for a, a, a cars industry, we already got, for example, just for trying the system, the pilot $105,000 for three months pilot uh, for customers. So there is a huge opportunity, people searching for the uh, new uh, technology and we bring something fresh. We heard it again and again, you are in the right time with the right product and it's resonant. Is your ideal customer a marketplace or a, a brand? Sorry? Is your ideal customer a marketplace with many merchants? or is it a brand, brand site? We can service both, but uh, I think it's more attractive to marketplaces uh, because uh, a single brand, it depends whether the brand is good or not. Right. But if you're a marketplace, you have a variety of products which turn to different audiences and, and people can make a decision. I know this product is slightly less good with the battery, but it's cheaper, so I can make an educated decision. But if you do that, does not make the marketplace concentrate towards the top few merchants and make it harder for marketplace to make money? I, I don't, it's, it's social information. It's not always that everyone have the same priority for different products. And a lot of it, what we hear time after time, it's not only about reviews, it's also about social validation. What you, the content that we bring, you see not only what people say about products, you see what the product says about people. Right. You want to, to know who are the people who are buying this car, who are the people who are buying this smartwatch. It says something about you. And I want to add something very, very important. We have a solution for big, for the giant, that is also um, for the big shop. Because we spoke with CVS and we spoke with Best Buy and they say when people enter to the shop, you cannot say they buy offline because they're 82% using smartphone while they are in the shop. And we can serve them in the shop and when they scan the barcode, we can keep them at the same environment. So we actually bring on Omni solution for online and what we call the offline and combine them together and, and they saw, saw it as a really something that uh, robust. So a um, couple of questions come to mind. One is, um, how do you get the world to know about this? I mean, are you just gonna plug into Amazon or are you gonna try to be, like anytime anybody's shopping for anything, you're gonna jump out in front, be, be like a pop-up? And then secondly, um, are certain people going to be more expert on these things and so that their, their social networks will rise to the top or, or certain celebrities, will they move to the top? What, how are you gonna work that? Um, about the second question is not, it, this part of how we analyze the content and what is most relevant is also analyzing the behavior of, of the user. If a user has a lot of good mentions with good feedback, it might go to the top, but it's not intentional and it's algorithmical. Um, about the first question, right, right now um, we're targeting uh, e-commerce, we're a B2B solution, so we start uh, li like this and our brand is being recognized by being implemented into a large clients and people will find it useful and eventually, as we hope, it will become a demand from the visitors of the site. So, so you gotta go to every e-commerce site and well. see if they will put your code on their site. Is that the idea? Yeah, we sell to, we're a B2B, yeah. So and then right you, you make money on, on the, the lift, or what do you make money on? No, uh, it's a um, monthly uh, payment subscription. Who pays you? Uh, the the e-commerce e website, site? because we can. We thought to give them free for one month to see the results, but in the end they ask how much we want to charge them, and we charge one hundred thousand dollars just to try uh, our platform. And uh, it's a monthly payment actually. It's a SaaS model for the small one and Taylor made the packages for the huge company like what we have now with Dell and with Sephora and with the other we negotiate. It's a hundreds of thousand dollars per month deal with each one of them. All right. Do you scale it with bigger? Absolutely. Last question. Absolutely. We are going to make a billion dollar company. This is the aim to bring, because we put the people in the center and not the product, and people are not stupid. They have smartphone in the end. They search for information, and it's a personal concierge uh, that can deliver the truth to the people, and 
We saw the result, 40% increase. Nobody worldwide can deliver something even similar to what we are doing. Can I ask one more quick question? Sure. This is the very last one. Um, with the customers that you have right now, um, how many of them have, I'm gonna assume that they probably, this involves maybe replacing some sort of reviews section they have on their site and then um, I'm gonna guess they might be, have just tested it for a couple products. Um, they're not gonna um, implement it throughout for all of their inventory. So do you have evidence of customers like admins or these mentioned where they've actually increased it, like they've implemented filter on like Absolutely. more of their Absolutely. reviews? Absolutely. First, most of them ask, can you uh, help us to manage our content? Because we don't know what to do. Like Sephora, we have a lot of content. We don't know what to do with all this content. And we help them. Then they say, can you manage our uh, um, reviews? And then they needed the updated. They needed the mention and the social feed and the video that we can bring them right. It's a sales force. It's not just something that it's uh, passive. It's interact with the people that are in uh, uh, the website at the, at the money time. And when they saw the, ca uh, the case study and they saw that we increased sales 40%, they were agreed to negotiate how much. And it's a million dollar contract, each one of them. So um, the, Tim alluded to this. And so congratulations on being able to generate a 30%, 40% lift. But why wouldn't you just go after a billion dollar e-commerce company if you can truly generate 30% lift, that's $300 million of lift and say, we'll take half of that. That's $150 million, not $1 million or $2 million or $100,000 of a SaaS contract. That's a much bigger sort of dollar amount that you can get by going after a few really large enterprise customers. Maybe that's something that we need to do, but still remember, we are six people sitting in one room in Tel Aviv. That's why we came here. We want to raise the money, make connection, and think about the next steps. Uh, if we are going to raise another $15 million in uh, nine to 12 months to uh, generate $200 million in sales, or are we going to, we believe that we want to build a great company, the customer in the center, and bring the truth, and not uh, up manipulated people. It's not working. All Thank right, good job, much. Filter. Thank you very much. Can I get the clicker? And then I need to get them.